I am Katrin Herdwijn, I'm a Belgian footwear designer. I first studied for civil engineering, I specialized in nanotechnology. After that I did a PhD and I combined that with footwear design, which is my actual passion. At the age of four I was already obsessed with shoes. I wanted to become a shoe seller, I wanted my own shoe shop. I also spent hours underneath tables just to look at people's shoes without being distracted by everything else. At a later age I started more and more being fascinated by science and going into that direction. But then when I graduated as an engineer I thought it would be nice to pick up that old passion again and it took very little time to realize that that was really what I wanted to do with my life. I don't think you really have to know how to 3D model before you start 3D printing. In my case, at least, it didn't work like that. Maybe it's easier. But for me, I wanted to use 3D printing, so I went looking for someone to help me 3D model my IDs. I found that through iMaterialize and uh, it worked very well. A lot of people responded to my request and I thought there was a nice connection with one of the people that they immediately got what I wanted. So I think the important thing is that you can transfer your IDs, that you can describe them well, that you can make clear drawings of what you want and it's also easy because then they just send you screenshots of what they've been doing and they can rotate it all the time so you immediately see yeah, Yes, this is what I wanted, I wanted it lower there and different there, so I don't think you have to be able to 3D model to 3D print. For me, technology is very important to integrate in the shoots. I don't believe in integrating technology to integrate it. I want it to have a purpose, but I think we have to find a nice balance between technology and traditional craftsmanship. When I started 3D printing, it was an obvious choice for me to go to iMaterialize and I was designing shoes and I wanted to use 3D printing. But then I already found that step of making a 3D model and then I had to have it created and you don't know what to expect. But from the first object that I got from iMaterialize, I was very happy with the quality. It was very nicely finished. I was a bit afraid it would look like lines and, and things, but it was very nice and soft. The material also was strong enough to make the heels because you don't really know that uh, when you print something. And so once you're over that first object, you start using it more. I also liked a very nice surface that it was always in time because in fashion we work against deadlines. It took a lot of the stress away that they were nice in time and it was also a matter of just doing a few finishes, like in my case, just coloring them and then they were finished. It's, it's a different way of working because if you make shoes, you really start cutting the pattern and making them and you control everything. Well, with 3D printing, you make the whole concept on the computer and it's a 3D model and then you send it and then a whole made shoe comes out of it. So it's, it's a different way of working. So you had to reschedule the deadline and see how that would fit in in my time. My advice for future shoe designers is to really follow their own instincts and their own style because they're Easily people always say yes you have to design black shoes and they have to have big heels. Yes indeed that will sell but we already have a million designers that do that so you have to find your own style and some at some point of course there will be very commercial models of course it has to sell too so you have to find a way in between those two things but I think as a prospective shoe designer or if you really love that I think you should keep doing that and really develop your own style not look too much at what other people do but create yourself again find yourself again every time in your designs.